Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on the Nintendo Switch and in today's episode we say goodbye to Poland I imagine because it's all gone very wrong, they've done lots of things to annoy us and finally in the year 1480 they're going to be no more, their final city will fall today hopefully um, but to ensure that happens we need to crack on because I only have about 15 minutes um, basically so I can edit up and upload this video tonight because I've got to be up in the morning to go to university. Now very quickly before and as I'm taking out these crap troops from um, Gilgamesh and Sumeria, I just want to say that for the next few weeks, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to upload this. I'm going to upload it at least hopefully every one out of two days, but I'm just not going to have the output I want. When it comes to the summer, it'll be a lot better. But basically, I have lots and lots of deadlines. I'm in the final year of university. And yeah, there's a lot of work to do. So this has sort of got to go on the back burner at times, but I will keep it going. I will make sure we upload regularly still. Maybe just we don't kind of create a lot of the content I'd like. Now that'll reflect more on a lot of the other stuff like the Nintendo videos, which I'll sort of drop for a while. But things like this playthrough, I will prioritize to make sure we get them out. Anyway, so we've built an observation balloon in Aqualia. Now I believe we need to um, attach this to a ranged unit, so we'll send it over here and we'll see what we can do. I've never actually done this, even on the base game. I mean, that sounds really weird, but I actually haven't. So we'll see how it works, and we'll get you going over there. My god, look at it. We Okay, that's going like that. But yeah, like I said, I'll just keep uploading this um, pretty much at least every other day, so that I know that's what most people watch, so that's my priority right now. But come the summer, I've got lots of interesting plans for strategy on Switch, stuff like that. Anyway, um, so the observation balloon is completed in Aqualia. Now we're going to have to sort of take a step back from the military stuff here and just build a sewer very quickly. The extra two housing will be nice. It'll sort of make us more comfortable with that. So we're going to go ahead and waste four turns on a sewer, which obviously people must be living in, as I keep talking about, because it gives more housing. Right, so Gdansk Musketman complete. That's very nice. We have now got a very good hold around Larsa. A bit more artillery, and that is coming down. That is going to be under our control very soon. Um, Gdansk really, really needs a sewer because it has more people than houses, which is bad. Um, so we'll start with that. But the musket... Um, oh, it's over here, obviously, in the encampment we have. And we might not even need it over there because we have quite a lot. Right, now we have the sitting circle. Why don't we bring you around? Ugh. Go there, you can promote. Um, anything. Um, you can come over here. Oh, God, we're going to get attacked there. Oh, well. I think the artillery will be fine. Maybe that's a really silly move. Let me... Can we shield that, please? Okay, I just want to shield that. Oh, there's a bombard. We could lose the knight. I just, I'd rather lose the knight than the artillery, though. Um, I, why did I put it in the boards in the first place? Oh, well, we'll see what happens. But I want to get the artillery over here to see if we can attach the bombard and see how that works. So we'll wait there. You know what? Let's just move the over there, at least, into the trees. Hopefully, they won't attack the artillery. If they do, I'm sure it'll survive. Hopefully. Oh, God. I'm proper nervous about this now. This would be a colossal cock-up, but we'll see. Right, I want to keep you here, really. I think we have enough troops around Larsa to keep the city under control. And especially if we get the artillery in range to attack. So, in, just in case, like, Amsterdam gets flipped or something, we'll keep you there. But it's very good just to have you ready to step in at any moment anyway. Right, you can stay there. The artillery will bring the walls down for us next turn. And then we will walk into Radom. Um, yeah, Radom, there we go. I'm probably pronouncing that horrifically, but, you know. Hang on, we can pillage the trade route. I'm sure we can pillage the trade route. Did I see something? Are you awake? Oh, I don't know. Just just stay there, it's fine. Um, you can heal for now. Medic's fine. You can help that unit heal. Um, oh, and good, we've got the trader here, which we're going to send somewhere for production. Um, anywhere with plus three or above is nice. Um, Rome's quite a safe bet, to be fair. It's very close, so we'll go for that. 
Hopefully that'll not get plundered. Plus three production towards our battleship, which is the main aim of that. Because if we can get our battleships mobilized, we will be in a very good position. Um, go and build a mine. We can build a mine there, so build a mine. You can't build a mine because that's flat land. Um, I mean, we could build farms, but there are no mines. I like I like mines an awful lot. Um, okay, just I don't think we can do anything there, but we'll keep walking. Oh, are we working that? Are we not working that? That's silly. We should work that tobacco. Oops, clumsy. Right, okay, I have to be careful we don't run over time here. Um, because if we run over time, this will not get uploaded today. Hang on. Do we not have the tech to build an oil rig? Um, I know we can build one on land. Can we not build one at sea? Right, Civilopedia time. Oil, 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 oil. I think we, yeah, offshore oil rig. Requires plastics. We don't have plastics. How far are we off plastics? God, why do we have to scroll all the way across? Um, Plastics. Okay, we're not that far off. If we get combustion, then I think we can go for plastics. That's nice. We're not that far off then. Um, instead, then you can come on land and build some mines and work on some salt. Cool. That is gutting that we do not have plastics to build on that oil offshore. And off the... I just presumed it was the same thing, but obviously I'm a bit daft. Okay. Oh, and they've prioritized running around with things. Oh, and they've then attacked the knight over the over the bot over the artillery, which makes very little sense. Oh my god, our artillery has come under fire from a crossbowman. What shall we do? Oh, let's go. Okay, so they're just bomb. Kamasi, who's on our side, is bombarding troops from Vilianus, which is on the other side. That's good. Go, Kamasi. It is the Battle of the Pink City States. Make of that what you will. I don't know. Projects a fragile kind of strength and a certain inflexible precision. Right. Fantastic. Right. We're going to actually change our policies here. And um, the unit upgrade one can go for now. Do not need you anymore, really. So we will replace you with um well this I don't see the combat victories over units from earlier eras provide gold how many of them are we actually we are facing a few right so it could still be useful I mean Poland which is the reason I put it in in the first place is basically defeated so that's not good we can have anything on though because it's a wild card policy slot Gold would be nice. How much gold does one person need, Alex? Um, I'm pretty easy, really. I think we're doing fine. Um, plus one science and culture from international trade routes is decent. Plus two science and culture um, from... Uh, I might go from the for the plus one culture and science for international trade routes. That help with two important things, science and culture. So we'll stick that in. Um, as always, if you have got any suggestions on this, please do let me know down in the comments. I will listen to you and switch them. Uh, but yeah, make sure you do let me know about that. Okay, so we've got four economic trade policies in here, which absolutely demonstrates how the economic trade policies are pretty much clearly the strongest policies you can get. Um, so I'm happy with all of them. If you do want any changing, make sure you let me know. Right. Oh, what's free market? Okay, no, that's fine. Right, okay, so we're going to continue on with this war here. I'm hoping we can get Poland eradicated in this episode because that would make a good thing in the title. Very nice to put that in the title. I feel kind of savage for saying that, but, you know. Just how it is. So we are getting you close to the artillery, which is nice. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of this knight, and I don't think the city will be able to do it on its own. 
Nope, that's going. What is the point? Just go away. Um, okay, we'll move you out of range of the city. And I don't think we can attack. Nope. Um, the muskets here, though, can finish you off. Bang. Somebody got stabbed. That was horrific. And the horse runs away as usual, which makes me very happy. If just at one point the horse didn't run away, I think I'd, I'd be very emotional. Um, it would get very, very sad here. Right. Um, yeah, you just kind of get out of there because then we don't have to risk. Yeah, that's cool. And you can... St you know, we've got the city surrounded. I'm just happy enough to have enough units that as soon as we fancy it, we can start up. Um, so that'll be good. We have enough units around. We might reorganize when the time for battle comes. But we are not yet at that time. And you can heal. Good, 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 good. Oh my god. Amsterdam. Do your job. Kill this musket. Well, if you want a job doing, do it yourself. Yeah, two out of three gone. Look, as soon as we get involved, people are dying. Maybe that's not a good way of phrasing it. Oh, good, the artillery corpse is ready. Now, I was thinking, um, and this is something we, we need to touch on quickly because I need to wrap the episode up in about five minutes. But Poland's done, right? Poland's done. Larsa's going to fall. It's a matter of time until we get some more artillery over here. Then the city will fall. So, obviously, we can use these troops over here to push Gilgamesh and Samaria off our continent. But beyond that, I think on Poland's fall, and when it does fall, let's think about building an expeditionary force to go over and wherever they are. Where the hell are they? I think they're at the top. Yeah. I think they're over here. Go over to Samaria, one of our biggest threats remaining in the game, and wipe them off the face of the earth. Or ver the very least, force them into a peace treaty which pretty much nullifies them for the rest of the game. I think that'd be really fun. Um, we are pursuing a domination victory, so you know, it'd be fun. So I think we should start putting this together. Now if we look on the map, they are up north, so we could do with starting to send some of our troops maybe up towards Vilianus really. Capture Vilianus, then we've got this whole top um, to ourselves and we can launch something over here. Maybe we could launch from one from the other side and do them with the pincer movement, but um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So with this artillery corps, we'll get it marching north, ready to um, bring shame to Samaria and victory to Rome. Right. Um, you know what? As much as I'd... L oh, no, it's a mine. Good. I'm going to say, as much as I'd like to build farms for the rest of the episode, I'm not bothered if it's a mine. I'll take mines. Um, we need to get on with the advance on Poland. I can't be going on about it all episode and then not do it. Just go and build a farm. Occupy yourself. Oh, we could go over here. Clear that marsh or something. I don't, I don't know. Right, good, 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 good. Right, the cannon can fire, which is, you know, a, a little start. It's the artillery we really need to get involved. The artillery will bring the walls down very quickly. Please tell me you can range it. Oh, sugar. You cannot range attack. Over here, please. Oh, man. We're only going to be able to attack with one piece of artillery. It's not going to fall this episode. Oh, jeez. Maybe if I'm really quick, I could get it done. But then again, don't want to rush. We also don't need to rush. I look like an idiot pretty much every episode anyway, so it doesn't matter. We all know it's falling, though. That's the main thing. Lugnum needs more amenities. Well, that's worrying because that keeps happening a lot. So a lot of cities are currently unhappy. And Krakow needs more housing. Um, it's getting an aerodrome, so we'll deal with that after. Medina needs more housing as well. Oops. Um, so civics, I think urbanization, that would give us access to the neighborhood. Now, if you've ever played Civ, you'll know that the neighborhood is very good at giving housing. Um, it's a district as well, so we'll go with that. Okay, you can build a mine. Mines for all. Love that production. And we'll not throw ourselves against walls in vain because we don't need to. Okay, so we will just play to the end of this turn here. Um, yep, yeah, we have the artillery completed there. Um, how are we doing? I think... Do we have an entertainment complex here? No, we don't. Now, this is not... 
Ooh, we could we could have built a mine there, but we really need to try and boost our amenities now. So our um, entertainment complexes are going to be important. Ideally, I'd be building something else, but you know, we're, we're, we're going to have to build it there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're just going to have to because we need to keep people happy. If we're going to pursue on this wall, we're going to have to build quite a lot of buildings like this. Um, so where we can't, we're building them. Oh, good. Baghdad has completed the harbour. Um, housing, you are not good, man. Have Repair your lighthouse. I thought oh, we must have been repairing the harbour. Right, and... Okay, so Amsterdam looks in pretty good hands. It looks like we've got good control over that. Um, Kumasi. Mm. Again, Saladin's not really doing anything there. We could try and pee off China here. Bandar Brunei. That would upset China, but we'd gain it as our city state. Okay, I'm going for that. I don't care anymore. Yay. Oh my god. How many knights do they possibly need? Maybe, maybe upsetting China can be seen as a mistake. Okay, no, they're only knights. They're not tanks. We'll worry about it later. Um, and Kabul has declared war on Bandar. Yeah, Bandar Brunei has basically joined this big war on our side. Which is good. I'm sure China will claim it back sooner rather than later, though. Right, I'm going to have to end it here. Next time, we will definitely capture the city here. I will make sure I record a 25-minute part in the next day or so. Hopefully, it'll be tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but thank you for watching. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you in another video soon.